prospects trying to get their lives on track can have a rough time doing so, especially if employers won't hire them. New this morning, nine on your signs, Lisa Smith found out there is a little known procedure that could help. Drug abuse, position of a dangerous drug, tampering with evidence. Rayel Wilhite's convictions are more than 20 years old. She's now a wife, mother, and college graduate, but her record follows her everywhere. And it's difficult and it's really hard and it's stressful because that's not who I am anymore. She says the toughest part is checking that box on a job application. It could cost her the job. And I said, well, I checked the box, but you forgot to ask me about them. So I lost that job. It does help that Rayel has one of these, a certificate of qualification of employment. Got to write letters. You got to uh, fill out applications. You got to uh, create accounts here and there. All they want is the opportunity to get one job, one job that would stabilize them and their family. Dorian Mason with the Second Chance Project helps ex-cons get the work certificates and encourages employers to accept them. There are tax credits that are available, other incentives. She says Hamilton County does a good job of letting those released from jail know they can get an employment certificate, but not everybody does. Is it enough? Can we do more? Lisa Smith, nine on your side. That Second Chance Project helps about 400 people a year get certificates of qualification of employment. We have more about the program if you're interested on WCPO.com.